Who's vibing? Recording in progress. Yeah, shut the fuck up, son. Hello, guys. Okay. Uh, welcome back, everyone. Uh, for our next segment, we have here Team Vitality. Congratulations for your victory today. Uh, so we are going to open the floor to some questions from the media. Uh, so we will be starting with uh, one minute. Yeah, we are going to start with Sierra Frisbee. Yeah, hello. Um, sorry to come in, unmute. Uh, first off, congratulations on the win. Um, Sierra just freelance. Uh, my question is for Safe. Uh, last year at Champions with Team Liquid, obviously you went 0-2 out of groups, so I know you're hungry to get back to playoffs and beyond this year. But your next p opponent is Leviathan, obviously, who has two world champions looking to repeat that success. So how are you feeling about that upcoming match next? And let me what are some of the preparations you guys are, are looking forward to for that match? I mean, they have two world champions, and yet they still lost to a team that was considered the most underrated, or not underrated, not even on the world map, Trace Esports, and they uh, they bested us as well. So obviously, two world champions means absolutely nothing, considering that it's a new stage and it's a new year, and uh, you know anyone can show up. Um, in terms of preparations for us, I think we just... Uh, Keep our eyes on the ball. We have a lot of good people working around us, making sure that we're on the right track. And uh, yeah, I mean, the focus is going to be mostly on our bubble and how to protect our bubble. And, uh, you know, whatever they throw away, or I'm sure we can uh, protect our streets. <laughs> Great response. Thanks and good luck in your next match. Thank you. Uh, next question is from Pedro Romero. Hey guys, uh, congrats on the W. I got a question for Gorilla. Um, given the fact that you guys lost to Trace in the first match of your group stage, I want to know how were you guys able to just um, bounce back, kind of look back on the loss, what went down in that loss, and how are you guys able to then um, adjust from that to this uh, match against Talon? Uh, and on top of that... Um, just uh, I'd like to know your 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 run through of the series as a whole um with it having the the pros and the cons from your point of view um I think um we just needed a few more days uh to like kind of hit the ground running like trace obviously played extremely well and beat Lev in the next series so it's like it's not like um you know, it's uh, just a brush away game. Like we made some really large, like fundamental errors in that game, uh, especially map three. So it was a pretty like straightforward fix in terms of what we needed to do, given the time that we had it, you know, it's, uh, I don't think it's a surprise that we come into this, uh, this game uh, a lot, like looking a lot stronger uh, in terms of the series as a whole. Um, Obviously, I'm really happy that we got 2-0 for once. Um, the last time we did it was against Team, uh, team Liquid. Um, they threw us off a bit with the deadlock on the second map, um, as we were expecting them to run their, their old comp with Breach. Um, so, you know, it took us, again, just a bit bit longer to adjust than what it uh, did on map one, where we had prep. So, uh, but I'm happy for that uh, that we pulled through. Oh, thank you so much for your answer. Uh, next question is from Atlanta. Hey guys, congrats on the win. Firstly, I would like to uh, say to Safe, uh, I like how your response to the questions uh, always, whether you lose or win. Uh, my question is open to everyone. Uh, I would like to know or understand what were the key points in this game compared to Tracy Sports uh, you guys changed that helped you to manage the win today. Um, What did we change? Yeah, what did you change or what did you work on upon, uh, against Trace, which uh, which helped you guys to win this game? I don't think we we changed anything really. It was just again just a reminder of what like what makes us good. How do we win as a team? Um, and we just needed a some more reps, some more practice, some more uh, intentional practice, like um, like some more structure to the to the days. And uh, I think that's the main thing. We just kind of found our footing again.
Okay, uh, thank you so much for your answer. Uh, we have more questions. One, we have one more question from Pedro Romero. Yes, I uh, got a question for, for Sender. Um, I talked to Safe uh, a few days ago or shortly after the, the, the first match against Trace, and he mentioned about how you and a few other people within the squad um, fell sick. And I just want to know, uh, for, from your point of view, you know, what's what's your current condition like? Like, are, are you are back to hundred percent? If you do want to share, if not, I I understand. Uh, I mean, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not one hundred percent sick free. Let's say like that. Uh, the sickness is still getting me. I'm still coughing a lot. Uh, it takes a lot of energy actually because uh, after a lot. Of, uh, sorry. Uh, um, because it takes a lot of uh, energy when you take uh, like you play a lot of scrims like four or five and then you cough as well and it just takes energy and overall my sickness infected the team so we didn't do well in the first days in Korea but overall going back getting better and better better be better and better thank you so much now we have one question here in the room. Hello, guys, and congratulations with the win. So I'm doing the interview with Sandra later. So I wanted to hear from his teammates and from the head coach. What's your favorite thing about Sandra as a <laughs> teammate, IGL, and probably human being? Don't answer this. Guy. Thank you. <laughs> Don't answer this. He wants to start. He's, uh, start with Nikita. Yeah, Trax, you start because yeah. you have not, not much, much, better, not much to give. <laughs> Um, I mean, for me, I think the main point is that um, he's like openly sacrificing himself for the team, and um, I think it helps a lot because I've been playing with the IGLs that doesn't do that also. So yeah, I mean, for me, it's that for sure. For me, uh, he might look. Like a cute guy on the outside, but he's actually a secret mafia boss. You know, <laughs> he's a secret mafia boss that uh, you know not a lot of people know about him. But yeah, that's for me. We're just a uh, part of his gang. Mm, I think Sender is uh, one of the most reliant people you can have if you're uh, making a team, because there was not a single day that I came where I felt like he was off or that there was something immensely different about him or that he called in a different way or said something in a different tone. I think just as a human being and as a teammate, he's very consistent. And I think that's something you look for if you want to win. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to copy safe, but I was going to say the same thing of like, Sender's the only one in the room that no matter what happens, he's always like, you don't really see him fade off or like, uh, he never like shows his emotions like he's tilted or is a uh frustrated with something like even if he is frustrated like he doesn't even show it like you don't even know if he is like in a good way like he's always uh keeping himself like uh, at 100 percent so the team gets to play and even if that means he has to overdo things and sacrifice himself like he's always there for us um he's always looking for feedback he's always like oh was this good was this good is this okay is this okay? And it'll be like the most, like the best round that you've ever seen or the best call you've ever made. Is like, was this good? I don't know if it was like, was it, was it good? Was it good? I don't know. Uh, like, yeah, it's just always looking for feedback and always uh, here with a smile on his face. Huh? Like, he's so uh, invested in everything that, uh, you know, he's not just like turning up, ah, oh, guys, I'm IGL. Okay. Like, you know, he's actually, you know, an IGL. He's not just a caller. Thank you. And also something that you want to share. Oh, I'm secretly a Vitality CEO, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> for people to know. That's, that's the reason I've been here CEO. for three years. That's all I can share. <laughs> okay. uh, we have one last question from Pedro Romero. Yeah, I uh, appreciate to see the, the love, either good or bad, uh, towards center. Good to know about that. Uh, got a question again to, to, to Gorilla. Um, 
another another day, another playoff sunset, another W. Um, as of now, in 2024, you guys are 11-5 in that map. Want to know exactly what makes it such that this team is so strong on that map specifically? And the second part is uh, we saw uh, Talon adopt or use a composition for deadlock for both maps obviously you guys were, were the better team so you guys didn't re really experience that much trouble but uh what were some of the issues if any that the team encountered because of facing such compositions from talent's part uh from point of view from your point of view um sunset for us is a map that we've like we always had a pretty good grasp on it like ever since the map came out like late last year like even going into convergence where the team picking it like we've just always had a really good read on it i think and the the, the map really well complements and is calling on it so um i think that's the reason why why we're strong like just because like you know we're 11 5 on it doesn't mean that we take it for advantage like um take it for granted at any point like you know we still do all the prep on it that we need to we still take every every game one by one it's not it's not a map that we just like let off the pedal um and um, what was your second question? Sorry. Uh, your 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 thoughts on just um facing Towns' uh deadlock compositions from uh, the deadlock both maps? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, as I said, like the the lowest deadlock we kind of expected because they've already like ran that. Um, so we had like pretty hard prep on that. But um, in terms of like them trying out deadlock, I'm all for it. Like we were a serial deadlock enjoying team at one point when we came in. um we were playing deadlock on a lot of maps in practice especially in the, around the masters madrid like time um so we have a pretty good grasp on how deadlock works and how to play against it and i think that's kind of one of the reasons why we succeeded so uh, so well today okay uh thank you so much uh guys thanks again uh for being here with us and sharing your experience Congratulations once again for your victory. And we expect to see you more matches from your side. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you.